Okay, um, so just to talk through uh, a bit of the history of why I DJ, the way that I DJ kind of, uh, and how I use this technology and how it developed like that. Um, it's kind of key to go back to how I first understood hip hop DJing and how kind of very basic hip hop DJing is, which is you would have a, a break beat from a funk record. So that's really like the foundation of all hip hop is the breakbeat at the start. Um, so the first thing that I learned with, and this wasn't with Serato or the, any of these flashy mixes or laptops, it was two copies of the same record and just learning how to kind of do doubles on that breakbeat so that you could loop it up. I mean, the idea in the first place was so that people could rap over it. But from a DJ's perspective, it was basically learning to do this. And making loops basically um, and then you could see as I was like queuing up the start of each um, loop you're kind of so the, really the way that scratching developed was people just queuing up the start of the loop and that's a really important thing that anyone that's scratching or DJing needs to understand because some people just start scratching like yeah I'm gonna make a noise but it's like that's where that noise came from that's why it sounds like that is because you're trying to find the start of the record So you find that when you scratch like that with a purpose, it kind of makes it sound like proper scratching rather than just like, you know, just all over the place. Um, so yeah, that was like learning to do uh, doubles of break beats. And then the next thing that I learned was how to just scratch better on top of those break beats. So you would have this beat going, then I'd find a noise to scratch. So it's like learning to just get musical with it and get better at scratching, which was a lot of practice. And then the next thing that kind of makes sense for me, like to help me develop my style was like, I wasn't just into hip hop. This was the eighties and I was like listening to pop music as well as a kid. That's what I knew was top of the pops and um, cheesy music basically, but it's what I grew up loving. So I wanted to work out how can I combine that music with the hip hop that I like as well. So the next thing I would learn to do was like, take pop records and then try and mix them into those break beats. So I would do something like this. So it's about combining different types of music with breakbeats. Um, and, and so many kind of subgenres of dance music have started like that, just mixing different things together. So then I would start making mixtapes um, with all those kind of funk breakbeats, but instead of just scratching noises on top of it, I would start to throw in um, samples from films that I was really into. So like Star Wars was a really obvious one, and I'd do this kind of thing. Um, what is it? Your father's lightsaber. This is the weapon of a Jedi Knight. Not as clumsy or random as a blaster. An elegant weapon for a more civilized day. For over a thousand generations, the Jedi Knights were the guardians of peace and justice in the old Republic. Before the dark times. Before the Empire. So it was about finding little samples from movies that I liked and then layering them on top of the beats and making whole mixtapes out of that. Um, then the real kind of game changer that happened was that the technology came out that would allow you to scratch the movies themselves. 
so with the video with the audio so it just made really just natural sense for me to just instead of scratching the audio from the films scratch the video as well so the difference in what i just showed you would be that you could do this what is it your father's lightsaber this is the weapon of a jedi knight not as clumsy or random as a blast <laughs> Elegant weapon for a more civilized day. So that's how I started coming together with these AV shows, was like thinking about bits from films that would really work and then putting them on top of beats that I thought they kind of matched with. Um, then the deeper I got into the AV stuff, I started working out, well, what stuff's going to look good to scratch, what stuff is going to look good to be mixed together, um, and then just kind of trying to come up with clever mixes and it's just a different way of DJing with a, a lot more visual, I think. Um, so I'll give you an example of like an AV mix that I think it's quite clever. A lot of this time I, I'll do this in a club and it will actually go over people's heads because they're not even concentrating. But for those that are or understand DJing, there's a few different levels to what's going on. Um, I'll show you a mix that I really like. It's, um, so here's like a, a hip hop video, which I just kind of married up the acapella with the video. So that way the music's all gone and you've just got the- Roll the red carpet out. Oh. Back on again. Oh. 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 10 commandments. 24 hours, the 13th floor was missing in the towers. So the whole video looks like that, just a cappella. Um, and this is a mix that I do with that with a drum and bass track. Roll the red carpet out. Ten commandments. 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 Ten Fuck it, the rabbit hit the drum and kept going. Each word is the church and minister. Approach, I coerce the listener. So listen up. Listen up. Listen up. Hitting park bench rhythms up till I vision the flow. I stay at home, sit and visit us. Radio, I visit station nights. It's kind of like they fucking visitation, right? Right, right. This ain't the place for my face and lights. I'm tight driven, living in a fucking shadowless life. Uh, I dilate like pay attention. Slow flow, just the rows when mentions. I didn't die lately, I just slept on bed springs. Can't define people, I just see dead things. It ain't just rap, I body ladies in one line. Talking slick to three chicks on text at one time. I see shattered words, they left broken pieces. Lines undone, half uncompleted. To be continued, dot, dot, dot. Cliffhanger, my life is like I'm scaling the rock and it's all. So the reason that I like that mix so much is that the, you've got the verse as he's kind of going up the roller coaster, but it's timed so that the drum and bass bit kicks in as the kind of chorus kicks in at the same time as he's going down the roller coaster. So it's like a triple drop with AV and audio at the same time. Like I said, it's probably over a lot of people's heads, but to me it's quite satisfying.